important PSA right there yeah, for you. To be aware of for sure. Shog's opponent, Razo, is the number eight ranked player in Southern California. A huge one, it looks like Shog is going to go inkling for this matchup. He does have a Palutena he can go as well. Shog and Razo did play at the recent monthly on Sunday at Fast. I believe Shog took that one, but it was a fairly close set. And I know these two have practiced and played together in brackets since then. So. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, Larry actually, uh, on Monday, took, uh, did I say Larry? I said, I meant to say Chag, took Larry to game five. He did in winner's finals. Grants was a bit more one-sided, but still a showcase of what Shaw can do, and one of Mexico's top talents for sure. Okay, yeah. So, you, uh, when Peach floats like that away from you, that back air is so disjointed, it's so big, it can uh, cover a lot of space, so. Uh, Peaches will like to just kind of hover there and wait for you to approach and just throw it out because it'll beat out just about any thing you can. Oh, read the roll in with the up smash though on top of the platform and with the help of the recent buffs, that move will kill earlier if all the hits straight at it. Up smash? It was, yeah. Uh, you're talking about 1.5? Uh, it was a fairly or recent buff. It, it yeah. It's either 5.0 or 4.1, but... I know it, it's a recent, recent effort. Uh, the, the update that they gave to Peach in uh, 5-0 is that the up special, on the yeah, up special gets the berry and does have the up smash to finish it out. So Inkling not too far behind and Shog, the full tank of ink, is poised to make the comeback. Yeah, fair, yeah. And then he, oh, he went for Nair there. Like, maybe trying to send him off stage or set up in some more Nairs. And now Razo, turn up in hand. Not gonna let him do that. Gets around that floating ink bomb, but I don't really know what Raza was trying to do there. Trying to land with all those nares. Uh, not a great option, but maybe he knows something I didn't. Maybe he's trying to chuck, catch uh, Tag jumping in with an aggressive option above him. But I like the mentality from Shog. Every time Raza drops back to pull a turner, Shog just knows that's his opportunity to recharge his income. That might just dissuade him from doing that in the future, but the back air. Yeah, just he stripped it back a little bit, called out that dash grab with the back air of his own. Something in place, and now Shog is going to be down to his final stop. Inks him up a little bit. I mean, to be honest, with the lag on uh, dash grab in this game, he probably could have made himself a sandwich in the meantime. Perhaps. It's going to be a long time before he started moving again, but nevertheless, Shog's still playing very well. I don't see uh, Inkling's F tilt that much. I really don't. Oh, okay. What? Yeah. I was just gonna say a lot of shield pressure there from Razo. Very into the F smash, that paintbrush coming out and had that necessary ink to get a little pack of punch. Okay, and the the down air sending cha uh, Chog Chag <laughs> towards the stage. Um, and uh, messing up Raz is going on that. Goes back in with a pair. Okay, and trading Nair's there. Yeah, Peach's Nair comes out pretty quick. You can find yourself uh, trading with it if you're not careful. Raz is still in the lead here. What a parry. Doesn't get much for it, though. Yeah, he only got a quick grab, but... Well, he put him in a disadvantage, too, but he wasn't able to really make anything happen to that. Oh, that's not the back air. At 132, we'll send him back off stage, although Raz Still has to find the kill, and yeah. unless he can find a setup that might not be easy against such an evasive character. Yeah, but the target has a very high percent right now. Uh, Lonzo has, I think even dash attack will kill at this percent. It may indeed. Yeah, we'll send him yeah, backwards. Will as well, even though he cut the reverse hitbox of it. Razo, whether he knew it or not, I think he might have been meaning to send him in the other direction, but a kill is a kill, and a game one will be into his favor. The number eight player holding it down over the invader. A kill is a kill, and a hit is a hit. Nog is going to stick with Inkling. Once again, he does have Palutena available. It's a character he has practiced. Hey, uh, uh, Bronco, it's pronounced Chag. Oh, is it Chag? Okay. You've been saying Chag this whole time. Okay. Just to inform that it is Chag, so okay, so it is Chag. Chag into game two, looking to be a bit more careful. 
I like the decision to go for the Rapid Jab because even beating out the Spot Dodge from Razo, that could have been a lot more difficult if Peach was able to get an early percent combo going. Okay. Again, the Dare sending him off the wall. Uh, Chad not making the text, but he doesn't need to at this percent. It's the Barry, though, didn't get the scooping hitbox because it was just that low on ink, and I think be a bit closer. It does have Peach fully in the but it's not going to matter if Razo is going to keep hitting him. And it's backstage with the Beach Bomber. Chag is still low on ink, so we'll be looking to recharge that at the first available opportunity, but Razo is playing in his face, not giving that to him. Yeah, Razo just, just throwing out these hitboxes, trying to catch him coming back to stage, but Chag just very patient. Bit of a trade there. We'll send Razo to the right and Chag to the left. Chag's doing the same thing to him, too. Yeah, look at this dash dancing that Chag is doing. He's just been in one place and then the other. Lands with the backer. And that splat bomb almost catching him at the ledge. The down tilt will get him off stage. And the buffered air dodge. It's going to kill. That would kill Robin there. That will lead to his demise, though. Up throw to up air at very early percent. Was able to get an additional aerial off of it, but Razo just gets him right back off stage. Oh, and he gets the footstool. Oh, yeah, okay. That's actually really tricky as Peach because you have to reverse your up B, otherwise you don't make it back to stage because if Peach is facing the opposite way from the ledge, you can't grab it. Right. So he had to uh, react with the up B and a reverse up B there. Has a Saturn pull, but just throws it away and goes off stage, <laughs> crowning him. The ultimate mind game. Pull to Mr. Saturn, get rid of it. Okay. Now, wow, an early combo coming from Raza there. Oh, the, the air dodge uh, was the only way for Chog to get out. It, now I'm saying Chog. Jack. <laughs> following up on it. Finally but gets the Booyah to kill, though, and at 74%, he is in the lead. Has to make the most of it. Uh, interesting uh, hitbox there. I guess uh, Inkling just extending that hurtbox uh, with the fair there, causing that grab to come through. Okay, and Razo throwing out those four pants and bears, which are really hard to get around, but Chag has it away. Now Chag is going to continue to push him off stage. He throws out a splat bomb to cover the normal getup. Razo will drift back for the moment. Wanted the up smash to connect, but... Okay, let's get to the four pants and bears. And he's throwing out a lot of moves really fast. Yes, and that, uh, that back air will stuff out the ink roller. Um, just because it's so fast, you can kind of react to the ink roller and uh, punish it with the back air if you just throw it out in control. Oh, and okay, so what uh, Razo did there is survive that up air, but uh, he was facing the wrong way with the parasol, so he went into free fall so he could grab the ledge. And Chag still a stock up, and Razo Peach is a very light character, so. Even with Inklings, you know, perhaps lack of kill power without a setup. Might only need a couple more stray hits until a simple bear will do it. Okay, Razo seeing that uh, Inklings shield is facing away, so he pressures with those nares because Inklings doesn't have a lot of options how to shield when someone is behind them. One up air into another from Razo. Goes deep off stage. Oh, fair. he went for it all. That might have actually done it. That might have stolen a stock at 44%. With all the rage he has. I love the play, but Chag's uh, sniffing it out. And saying, nope, I'm not getting hit by that. Chag thanking his lucky stars that he survived there and goes in with a slap on the cover himself. through the platform with the back air. Peach will be very low on legend vulnerability, but the back air does yep, not care about that. Chag will take game two and send this to a vital game three. Would have you ever been hurt by like one of those, ner hit by one of those nerf guns or stuff? That plastic hurts. It's It leaves bruises for sure. Yeah, that stuff is not fun. And uh, so we, we have a even set right now. We do we'll indeed. Razo or Chag? going to be the number eight player from SoCal, one of the best peaches in the United States and certainly the best in his region. Or is it going to be Shaw, or Chag, rather? My bad. Don't don't crucify me, Twitch chat. Um, it's 
going to be Kalos for game three. What do you make of the stage choice? From, uh, the Kalos... I think both of these characters struggle to kill. So, but Peach has a better edge guarding game, so I think this is a good uh, choice for Razo because uh, you know, Peach does have stronger kill options. Um, Fair is really good if you can get your opponent uh, in a bad spot where they're sort of near the edge of the stage, but it stales early and doesn't always kill. Right, and this is a stage with a very high ceiling, so Peach doesn't really have anything that kills off the top other than up smash. I guess the ladder combos, but really how often are you going to be landing those? Well, the su surpri a surprisingly good option for Peach, uh, is, uh, a kill option, is uh, the frying pan. If you can land that, uh, uh, it catches a lot of opponents off guard usually because you can kill them at center stage at maybe 100, uh, 120. I, I would say on this stage it would probably kill around 120, 130 uh, if Razo could land it. It might, but with if Inkling's just low hitboxes and sort of the speed that this character brings to the table, it might require a really hard cut to even get one of those in the first place. Yeah, the, with the way Chag's been moving and, and using these full hops and, and short hops and these dashes to just kind of move around. Oh, nice up smash there. Very patient on shield. Kata with an unsafe aerial and now he's going to let he's going to wave land back to that side platform. But yeah, it's going to be hard for Raza to land that. The thing is though, it's, it's, it's a big hitbox and it's disjointed. So if you can catch your opponent approaching you with it, uh, it's a great cross. But uh, it's back with a fair air. Also with a turn up in hand. This is going to be interesting if Chag can cover the side platforms with a splat bomb. Razo has shown an affinity to recover high, particularly in, the, in this matchup, so that might just eliminate an option entirely. Yeah, Razo uh, just leaving that turn up behind, saying, okay, if you're going to chase me, here's a little something for you. Um, I like that kind of cheeky move there from Razo. All right. Turn up just landing at Chag's feet. Depletes the shield, but it's looking very small. Hex away, and that Peach Bomber and gonna break gonna the shield. Break the F the smash shield. is gonna be fully charged. Not even gonna kill though. Okay, I don't. Yeah, I don't think there's anything he could have gone for. I, that might have been the best option for him because that's kind of at a weird percent where uh, Peach doesn't get those low percentage combos anymore. Uh, he might have been able to get a combo or something off of that, but at least that would send them off him off stage. I'm sort of in that uncanny valley for peach percent. Too too high for a low percent combo, but too low for any kill setup. And the down smash catching the roll in. Good option coverage is Jack. Fair makes it back. Turn up, he's gonna catch okay, yeah. that up special with the up B or the up special with the up smash. Yeah, that up B similar to Yoshi's uh, down B, it, it doesn't damage you, but it does push you away and make those punishes hard. So Razo saying, I'm not going to deal with that. I'll just up smash you. But good drift back in the back air. will finally get it up. He has the dot eyes, so Razo is going to be holding on to this one. Okay. He gets. He managed to get one throw, but still, that's a huge amount of damage. 25% for just a single projectile is a lot. It and is. another grab combo going to move that almost up to 50. Now Rage is helping him out. Certainly it is his friend at the moment. Look at all this percent he's been able to tack on. Yeah, and he, just, he beat out that roller again with the back air. It's so hard to land that move on Peach because Peach is able to throw out these aerials so quickly, just like we saw there. And actually, if you float, uh, you are above the hitbox of the roller. Right, it will just give you added priority over that side special and all of a sudden, that down smash won't connect though, and Chag is now going to be chasing him back off stage. Okay, Razo waiting. Chag out. Razo so close here, just needs one good read or another fair one. Yeah, it unfortunately gets it from the opposite side of the stage. So, oh, the fair poke. poke! And Razo gets his revenge after Chag had, Chag had defeated him earlier and at prior events, Raza was waiting for this one. You could tell he said he was studying the matchup and it certainly paid off. Kind of kind of sounds like an amusement park ride, like a ro sick roller coaster.